some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a Sovtard who is no stranger to the Oregon State Troopers as he has been pulled over multiple times for, well, no plates on his vehicle. But he continues to do it because, well, his family encourages him to do it. As you will see in the video when he calls his mother up and tells her that he's been pulled over. In addition, he quotes laws and amendments that he has no understanding of, including the fact that he calls out the Tenth Amendment at one point with no understanding of what it means. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That's right, this Sovtard is calling his mother on how to properly handle this officer. She is also a sovereign citizen, so we have a family of sovereign citizens in this. So I am guessing that when it comes to nature versus nurture, it's all nature in this particular family when it comes to their genetic predisposition to stupidity. I can't reach that window. I can't reach that window. Yeah, I suppose you are. Thank you. Hey, the reason for the stop is you don't have any plates on your car. That's and? What's that? And? That's a violation. Really? Really? Oh, is that a law or something? Uh, yes it is. According to ORS 803.540, you are definitely in violation of the law if you have no plates on your car. But of course, you being a lead paint drinking sovtard, you don't do the simplest bit of research and realize that you are definitely in the wrong. Yes, sir. Do you have your driver's license with you? Are you sure? Am I sure about what? What reasonable partic What reasonable suspicion do you have I can't that I'm? Hear you, sir. It's loud out here, and I only got about this much of the window. Oh, I'm sorry. You want that one no, I don't. Okay. So. Do you have your driver's license with you? Sir? Do you have any reasonable suspicion that I'm doing an act right now? Just a violation here in Oregon. Got a um, or some sort of temporary registration on your vehicle when you're traveling out the road. Do you have a driver's No, this license? is my private property, sir. I understand that, but you're on a public highway. Right. To which I protect. Do you know the definition of federal, the federal definition of motor vehicle? Okay, so uh, what I'm asking you for right now, sir, is your driver's license? I'm asking you for your reasonable suspicion. Okay? I'm asking you for your reasonable suspicion that I'm committing an act of commerce. say act of committing commerce like it's illegal. Commerce is not illegal. Driving without plates in any state in the Union is illegal. And in, well, just about every country that I know of. I can't, like I said, I can't hear you. Really? You totally can hear me. I know you can. Okay, so you see when that big truck just drove by? I cannot hear you when that happens. I'm trying to be as respectful to you as I possibly can be. I need to see some sort of identification, or I can take your name and date of birth, please. Here you go. And, uh, what's your birthday, sir? Uh, that's not required. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I need to identify you. I can't identify you if I didn't your birthday last Are you from Oregon? No, I'm from Earth. 
Not only did your mother raise you to be a softard and a complete dumbass, but she raised you also to be a complete smartass. And this is in addition to the copious amount of paint chips you consumed as a child that got you to this point. Okay, are you from Oregon? No. You have a valid driver's license? I don't need a driver's license. Wrong again, dumbass. If you had put down that sovereign citizen BS and read the actual laws, you wouldn't get pulled over so often and put yourself in this position. But no, your brain has gone pretty damn soft due to all the lead paint chips killing your brain cells and not to mention having drank the Kool-Aid from the sovereign citizen material. Which means there's basically no hope left for you. But hey, that's your life if you want to melt your brain with all that BS. I'm not going to continue to argue with you, sir. I just want to get your name and date of birth and that's okay with you. It is not. Well, it's required. Well, no. I'm going to stand on my, my fourth and my fifth and my first and my tenth. Okay, so you stand on the Tenth Amendment. Way to go, dumbass. You just destroyed your entire argument without you even knowing it. Well, that's pretty common among you idiots. But still, the Tenth Amendment is what allows Oregon to have the right to create the laws that you say don't exist. As per usual, you softards quote laws and amendments that you haven't even bothered to read. This is just too easy. So, here's the options I'm going to present to you today, okay, sir? You can either identify yourself. I did, right there in your hand. No, you didn't. I don't know who you, what your great birth is. So, a driver's license number, an ODL number from another state, or perhaps a date of birth so I can match this up and get you out of here with I don't plan on writing any citations unless I have to. But what is have to? If it's just a simple license plate thing, we could talk about it, and I might be able to get you a warning and get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hit you up on anything small. It's just no, I, I feel that you are. Okay, I'm sorry that you feel that way. That's not my intention. Well, do you, do you even know? Can you tell me the code, the actual code number of the alleged rule that you're trying to enforce on me? Yes, I can. What is it? I can get all that stuff for you. No, you're supposed to know this. You're supposed to have personal knowledge. Okay, there's like five or six hundred of them. Yeah, I know. All right. And your your job is My to job know is this to shit. Know where they're at and to know what they are. Not Dude, why don't you try memorizing a few hundred pages of laws? I certainly tried whenever I had a job interview for the Department of Children and Families a few years ago. But it wasn't necessary considering it was a group interview, a lot of other people being interviewed at one time, and there weren't any tests on the law, so it was kind of a pointless affair. I have to know the actual numbers. Well, I can tell you that I'm traveling under 801-208-2D. Okay, that is the commercial vehicle code. And he keeps on saying that he's not driving commerce. But looky here. According to this, a commercial motor vehicle means a vehicle or combination of motor vehicles, one or more vehicles that, well, in this case, have to be 26,000 pounds or more. Your vehicle is not going to be 26,000 pounds, you moron. You just can't pick and choose laws that make sense to you. I mean, this is just sheer cherry-picking stupidity at its finest. I mean, good frickin' grief. I would say that your mother didn't raise a fool, but clearly that's not the case. She raised you to be a complete imbecile. I wrote it on there. You're I well notified, sir. Thank Did you. you even look that up, sir? Do you have your dri your, any driver's license number or date of birth you want to give me? Failing to do so is a crime here in Oregon. You can be taken. I'm going to give you an ID. I, you know, I almost want you to fucking arrest me because this is some bullshit. You're okay. fucking violating my shit. This is bullshit. 224.80. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back with you.
There he goes, calling his mother the very source of his stupidity. But of course, she's not going to be any help in this situation anyway. So I got a fire. Hey, 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 I got a tyrant. You got a what? I am pulled over. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah, and I'm, I'm in. F***ing, I just got on the freeway. We'll see what happens. He's claiming he's not going to give me a citation and just a warning or whatever, but. I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to steal my f***ing car. What, what, uh, like, is it a state trooper? Is it, like, it's a Nelsboro? state, Why don't you... it's a state fucking, a stater. A state trooper, he should fucking know this shit. Hopefully he just sends me on my way after he fucking me in. Seriously, because I mean, this is... I got a third... They're still in my car. They're the fucking second... At least the second car here. Yeah, they're gonna steal my shit. There's at least a second car. Where are the, where, I know you said you just got on the freeway, but where exactly are you? The Gladstone... I'm getting at the Gladstone exit sign, number 11. Um, do you want me, I suppose I should start loading up the kids now? No, I want, okay. let's just wait, wait and see what happens. Well, you, if that's the case, you're going to be standing there for like ever in the rain. I, I don't care. I don't want you to get in the fucking car and get halfway here and then have to fucking turn around because he let me go. Are you recording all of this? Yeah, there. Well, I'm doing a bad job of the camera, but it's it is action. It is acting. Okay. So we'll see what happens. But I just thought that I would call and let you know. That is some shit. So, you, and you know what's super funny too, is I was just promoting to Jeff today <laughs> that I was like, yeah, I'm so confident that they're not going to pull us over that frickin', uh, that I'd almost be willing to say I'd pay your ticket. <laughs> so what did he pull you over for? He pulled me over yeah. for my plates. His reason was my plates. Have those things on for how long? Maybe going to get over one. Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, sir. There's this for you. Awesome. You're not free to go yet. Do you have uh, anything for the vehicle? Uh, I have no. Nope. This is my private property, and I use my private property privately, and I do not ever commit acts of commerce. And I know that the the rules say. I've read the rules. No, you didn't read the rules or the laws. You just cherry-picked what you wanted to follow and ignored what you didn't want to follow. I mean, that much is clear from the code you cited earlier that you just went cherry-picking. Okay, so I'm going to go to that side and grab your VIN number off the, off the top of your vehicle. Yeah, go right ahead. What's that? Go right ahead. Thanks. If you leave the scene at all, it's a felony crime. I will not leave the scene. I want to make sure that we leave on the up and up because... I'm a good guy, I'm a lawful guy, and I don't want to have you guys fucking chasing me around any more than you already do when you're trying to extort me. I appreciate that. Do you have any insurance with you? You might as well call, I don't need it. So is that a no? I know the fuck. Failed to provide proof of financial responsibility. So what, what you're doing, you know, I'm about here, I'm, do, do whatever it is you need to do, sir. Absolutely. Thank you.
This is the tyrant of a face. Oh, I need to get your business card, sir. What's that? I need your business card. It'll be on my citation. Yeah, they're gonna steal my car. They're gonna commit an act of theft. Is that what he just said? But he he said it's gonna be on the citation, so I'm gonna do it again. Mail him another fifty million dollar lawsuit. I'm not talking to you. So you're going to mail up another $50 million lawsuit, which basically means A, that you've done this several times before, and B, that you've most likely gotten nothing out of the other stops. Not one single penny. So why bother even keeping this charade up? I mean, you're not going to get a dime from any of these traffic stops because you are a total dumbass and you are not exactly following the law as you suggested earlier because you know what you haven't even read the law well you're at the very least cherry picking it Is, did he tell you that they were gonna tow your car well he asked me for my insurance so he's so they're gonna steal my car because i don't have insurance We'll see what happens. Alright, hold stay on the line. I'm gonna go get started Tyler so I can have to do without distraction. So hold on. Oh, upside down. Aha. Uh -huh. Five minutes later. Okay, sir, as we're going to you're going to be issued a citation for driving while suspended. There's a court date and time on there. Sorry about that. There's uh, a number no of options how to take care of if you don't want to go to court. I wrote you two warnings on there. You can read those ORS, kind of similar to the back window there. You can read those that they're about. I warned you for both of those. My ORS is lower than your ORS. What the hell are you talking about? My ORS is lower than your ORS? What the hell does that even mean? Okay, thank you. And also, you don't have uh, legal insurance with them. I did see the vehicles insured from someone else, so I didn't write you a citation for that either. I appreciate you stopping and talking to me today. Any questions at all? Uh, yeah, I would prefer... Actually, can you tell me the uh, Third Amendment? Yeah, it's not... I have any questions pertaining to the citation? Pertaining to the citation? Can yeah. you tell me the federal definition of motor vehicle? Any questions pertaining to the citation today, sir? That is a question that pertains to. How does it not? You're claiming this is a motor vehicle, okay, right? Ask for my information. It's down there at the bottom. I need your Ryan card. I need your card. Why? Because I'm well, requesting you it. You, you have all my information right there on the citation. That doesn't have your email on it. Ryan Wilson, I work for the Oregon State Police. My badge number is right there if you need that. Nine nine four. Seriously. All right, man, you have a great day. All right, so you're not free to drive away because you don't have a driver's license. So your vehicle could be impounded for that. You need to call a licensed driver, okay? Okay. If you want to go right there where it's a little wider, you're more than welcome. Uh, I'm just telling you, you don't have my permission to drive. I'm not driving, though. Okay, thank you. All right, so I don't know what we want to do here. So what do we want to do? I'm thinking about the I didn't hear anything you said. I know, I'm trying to think of what to do. I'm kind of concerned considering just waiting like 20 minutes and then taking the back roads around. Well, now that's the end of the video, folks. And this is not the first time nor the last time that he gets caught driving like this. And his mother sure as hell is no help either considering that she supports him on this in fact i do believe she may be a soft heart herself at any rate i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you 
on the next one.